Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to use STEP. STEP is an interactive tool for physics. Using this tool, you can model the physical world by selecting objects and changing the parameters by which they interact. STEP is part of the KDE project and can be downloaded using Synaptic Package Manager. In this tutorial, I have worked on Ubuntu version 10.04 LTS and STEP version 0.1.0 KDE 4.4.5. Now we will look at how to open STEP. Click on Applications, go down to Education, scroll down to Step and click on it. This will open the Step window. The Step window has three main components. On the left hand side, you will have the palette from which different objects can be added for the simulation different interactions that can be added to the objects and various components through which the interactions can be added. In the middle you have the world scene where the simulation can be built. On the right hand side you have an area where different panels can be displayed. What you see displayed now are the properties panel and the world panel. You can add more panels for display here from the settings tab and by clicking on panels. If I add the context information, the context information panel will be added to this window. The world panel here gives information about all the objects and interactions in the simulation. It will also give us some information about various algorithms that are used to run the simulation. In this tutorial, we will not be looking at the details of these algorithms. These may have to be learnt using separate tutorials. The context information gives specific information about each of the objects that are part of the simulation. The properties panel is where you can define the parameters of the objects that are part of the simulation and they will be displayed here when the simulation is being run. One more panel which can be added is that of the history panel which will give us information about how the simulation was built. In this simulation, we will not add the history panel. We will look at how to build a simulation using STEP. Before that, we will briefly summarize what we have looked at so far. There are three main components, the palette, the world scene, and the panels on the right which are the world, the properties panel, the context information and the simulation history. Now we will introduce a particle on the world scene and define the parameters of the particle in the properties panel. We will add forces which will simulate the conditions we want to simulate, which will add the conditions that we want to simulate and we will run the simulation. We will see how STEP works by the simulation of free fall of two objects. We will simulate the free fall of two disks. I click on disk and click on the world scene. I click on disk again and I click on the world scene. Disk 1 is at position minus 1.21, 1.36. Disk 2 is at 0.78, 1.53. These positions refer to the position of the center of mass of these disks. Now, for this simulation, I want both these disks to be at the same vertical position above the x-axis. So, I will change the y-coordinate of disk 1 also to 1.53. Notice that the disk has moved up. Now I want to redefine the size of the second disk. I can click on the box here and I move it. The disk becomes smaller. The size can also be changed by clicking on the properties panel and changing the value of the radius here. Now I also want to redefine the mass of the second disk to be 1000 kilograms.
Now we will add two weight forces which are interactions to these disks. Weight force is the acceleration due to gravity that will be experienced by a mass and has a value of 9.8 meters per second squared and is a constant. I've clicked on weight force. I click on the weight force again. Weight force has been added on each of these disks. Now we are ready to run the simulation. We click on, if you look at the world panel here, you will see that the disk 1, disk 2, weight force 1, weight force 2 are all displayed here. Now we are ready to run the simulation and we stop the simulation. Now we will look at the properties of the disks now. Disk 1 is at minus 1.21 comma minus 4.134 disk 2 is at 0.78 comma minus 4.134 they are both at the same y coordinate position in the negative y axis the velocity of disk 2 is minus 14.91 meters per second the velocity of disk 1 is also minus 14.91 meter per second now this is an important result in the understanding of gravitation. We know that these two disks were of two different masses and two different sizes. Yet when they were subjected to free fall for the same duration of time, they travel the same distance and reach the same final velocity. So the final velocity of an object undergoing free fall is independent of the mass of the object. Now we will look at how to save the simulation. We click on file, save as, we will call this as example step, we will call it example free fall. All the simulations in this application will be saved with the extension .step. Next time we want to demonstrate this simulation, we can simply open example free fall .step and simulate. Now we will look at an assignment to reinforce our understanding of step. Before we look at an assignment, we will see how and where to use step. Step can be used to illustrate complex interactions in mechanics. After the theory has been introduced, the models can be built and simulated to reinforce understanding. This can be a supplement for syllabus at the college level. Now we will simulate the scenario when a ball is thrown upwards at a given angle to the horizontal. What is the path it takes and why would it follow such a path? The simulation when built will look like this. The blue arrow indicates the velocity of the object and the red arrow indicates the weight force. When you click on simulate, you will see that it quickly follows a parabolic path. Explain why it would take such a path. I would like to acknowledge the Spoken Tutorial project, which is a part of a Talk to a Teacher project, supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information can be found here. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of STEP. Hope you have fun exploring physics using this tool. Thank you.